So let me just show you how I use it. Basically, the way I set it up, again, this is a clean guitar, into an amp. So I make sure the amp is loud and fat, and it's hard for me to play really loud here because it's my, by my ear. But um, if this is a clean sound, then I, I set up the RC just, just boosting the volume a little bit, but try to keep the sound the same. So it's basically enhancing the guitar, it just sounds much bigger and fatter, but it, it's like it's still the same exact sound. Now the thing that I like about it, it's very dynamic, meaning it kind of feels like it's a compressed amp. So if I push hard, it started to sound like an amp is crunching, you know? So that's really important when you use amps that are not yours. A lot of those amps, like rental amps, they just don't react or don't react the way you like them to. So this thing just saves the day every time. And it's really, really dynamic. So this is a clean sound. This is without it. See, it's a big difference. And then if I dig into it. So it starts to get that crunch a little bit. So it really feels like a real amp, you know? Like it helps enhance the sound, the tone. Um, now, I use the gain, this has two stages. When it's in the middle, it's like the old RC where it's all the way up, yeah. which that's how I use it. And um, what I do with the EQ is um, I cut a little bit of bass off to make it sound kind of like the guitar that's not too boomy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. But you can, if I crank the gain to the next gain stage, it sounds still good. It's just, it still sounds like the guitar, that's the whole thing about it. It's very twangy and it's very alive, you know. play fancy chords with it. See, it's very dynamic. You, know, you can play really weird chords, and now this was on full gain, which is the extra gain that the original one has. So it's just very dynamic, you know? So I'll bring it back to the middle where I use it. And then, so now I'll talk about the AC. Mm -hmm. So the AC is basically like my overdrive. So it's just uh, not too dirty, because I, I like to keep the guitar sound clear, you know? And it's, it's twangy, but not too much. It's just kind of in the right place for the mid-range. And it's the same thing if I play soft on it. It's still kind of clean and then it's very dynamic. So, you know, you don't lose the sound of the guitar. And a lot of overdrive pedals or distortion pedals, you just lose the actual guitar. Right. That's what I don't like about a lot of that stuff. So I, I don't put a lot of gain in there. I just basically put it at like uh, 11. Um, and then again with the volume, I just it just adds a little bit of volume to the clean sound, but not a lot. You know, because I want to keep the sound of the instrument. Yeah. Um, so in some situations, when I play my own amps, um, I can probably get away just by using the AC to get my tone. But the magic really happens when you plug in the, when you play the, a, the RC into the AC, because that's when you get this really big sound that I, that's kind of what I use for lead. So this is only the AC. And now, the, and now it's going to be with the RC.
the thing I like about it is you can play chords with it, you can do anything with it, but it's really big and you don't lose the sound of the guitar. And I've tried to use gain from amps. I have a Turok, which is fantastic, and a Marshall and Fender amps. And it's all really, really good, but there's a lot less control. With this stuff, with the RCN to the AC, you have perfect control. Like the, the sound is really big and you can kind of tweak how much gain you need. So that's what I've been doing for years, really. That's, that's been my lead sound for ever since I figured out the RC into the AC is the way to go for me. Thank you.